We're going to call our meeting to order at <coughs> 620. Welcome, everybody. This is the Washington Central School District, first meeting of the year. Happy New Year, everybody. It's so great to see so many of us, and this is a great setup. I can see everybody pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. So I want to start the year just by wishing everybody a Happy New Year. And I was, uh, uh, after I took Shelly's class, which we will talk about it later, I got hooked in this blog uh, from Maria Pavlova. And as I was starting the year, it had this little snippet on beginnings. And, it's, and it said that to begin anything, a new year, a new practice, a new love, a new project, is to cast upon ourselves uh, a spell against stagnation. And I feel like that's sort of what we're doing with our new budget, our new vision for for district, our core beliefs. It's just uh -huh. like, and uh, and beginnings are like little notes. Uh, we always say that you know we have to like play all together like a symphony. We all play a different role in the board. We all play a different role as administrators. So uh, beginnings ask us to break the pattern in our lives and recognize it afresh. It takes great courage and tenderness to start the year for all of us, and um, beginnings and an, and an opening towards the gifts and the growth that are stored upon us. So often when the year is ending, we discover new beginnings, and hopefully our heart is ready for fresh beginnings for, for this year. So with that, I was going to start the meeting by changing the agenda. Do you guys have any <laughs> modifications to the agenda talking about a new? Uh, I would like to add uh, one, uh, we, we just missed it, so under five, so 5.5, 5. 5, uh, add, approve the mailing in ballot. For, it's been in all of our meetings and we just failed to put it on and we finally have approval from our five towns. So I would like to add that there. And also at the very end of our meeting, I, will add, I would like to add an, uh, an executive session for personnel. So, they have a motion to accept the agenda as amended. Thank you, Ursula. A thank second. You. Thank you, Chris. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Seeing none. Perception of guests. Uh, I see very many members of the public. Zach, thank you for being online too. Uh, any public comments at this time? I see a few people online. Please raise your hand if you wish to make a comment right now. All right, I see one. Okay. Um, honey, go ahead. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Honey. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You're muted, I think. You're we double muted. You, so, so we can hear you. One, one second. Okay. One second. It's okay. on our end. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to stick to the two minutes, okay? So, but thank you. Uh, honey, can you try again, please? Sure. Can you oh, hear me now? Yes. 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 Thank you. My name is Honey Bean Barrett, and I am the current fifth and sixth grade teacher at Doty. I would like to speak to the proposed cuts to counseling and nursing at Doty and the ripple effect these cuts would have for students, families, and staff. During past board meeting discussions about these cuts, I have heard board members ask why we are making so many cuts to kid facing staff. I have also heard board members question these cuts and seek creative ideas to keep full time counseling and nursing in all schools noting that we are not, and we are not going to be in pre-pandemic times again. I echo these questions and concerns that you have. Our Doty School Counselor has many jobs within our building, including teaching our health curriculum with our school nurse and acting as our school-wide behavior support person. The ESSER funds gave Doty a full-time nurse, and that has been life-changing for students. Together with our counselor, these two individuals work to be a proactive force to prevent students from dysregulating into crisis. Not to mention our nurse being the first line of dental and medical care and our counselor being the first and sometimes only mental health care available to some students. The staff at Doty is very good at multitasking and supporting each other to take the best care of kids. 
We are a caring and effective team. Without a doubt, our staff, our team will be incomplete without our full-time counselor and nurse, and we will be stretched further and we fear that we will be less effective. I encourage the board to find funding for a full-time nurse and full-time counselor so that Worcester students and families can continue to be cared for and supported in all the ways they need to be. Thank you. Thank you, honey. Okay, any other members of the public? Seeing none, we're going to move to you, Celia. Thank you. You're first up. <laughs> Thank you for hosting us. Of and course. Thank you. Thank you all Sorry. for being here. Um, Chef Jake has on the blue table in the back, he made a pasta carbonara and a salad for everyone this evening. Um, he broke out the fancy plates. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he was like, ooh, I get to cook. He was very excited. So, um, so Please enjoy that. Compliments of our of our food service team here. Um, so I, this feels a little. You, what do you need me to do <laughs> to make it go? Can up you there? share your screen? I can do that. Please do. Can I share my screen? Do oh, it from here. Yep. Hold on. Let me pull my life together. <laughs> <laughs> Probably can't do that. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna share my screen. I'm gonna share this one. Okay, slight delay. All right, I'm gonna stand. This feels a little weird. Okay, um, so I was, uh, you all asked to present on um, what social emotional learning looks like here at Berlin Elementary School. Um, I think it's important to ground us, and um, sometimes SEL gets thrown around as like um, education really likes jargon. <laughs> I'm sure you all know this, but we like uh, we like lots of different words for SEO. So I want you to just take a minute. Um, a lot of the resources and the framework that when I think about social emotional learning for our students come um, through the lens of CASEL, and I'm not going to um, get the acronym right, but it's a body of research that takes a lot of different uh, methodologies and looking at social emotional learning and puts a framework around it. Um, provides schools with sort of a, a framework to um, anchor, our, anchor our work and kind of um, provide direction to us. So when I'm talking about SEL in this presentation, I'm, I'm going to read this. I'm going to not read any more. I'm going to try not to read any more. <laughs> but um, social emotional learning is an integral part of education and human development. SEL is the process through which all young people and adults acquire and apply the knowledge, skills, and attitudes to develop healthy identities, manage emotions, and achieve personal and collective goals. Feel and show empathy for others, establish and maintain supportive relationships, and make responsible and caring decisions. Um, if you go to castle.org, there are lots of videos. Like, I could have done this for much longer, and you all have been like, okay, Celia. Um, but there are, like, individual videos for all of the topics that we're going to talk through. They're, like, little quick little snippets. If, you're all, if you are interested in learning or digging a little deeper, deeper Castle is a great website. Okay, um, this is a great visual to think about SEL, right? Um, and true, full, school-wide SEL takes years to develop, um, and it takes a long-range plan. Our building here has some strong SEL bones, and we are working, or one of my goals with our team, our SEL team and our um, support staff is really to develop um, some stronger systems to support that SEL work and also to make that visible. I'll talk a little bit more about that later, but thinking around these five areas of social emotional wellness. So self-awareness, self-management, responsible decision making, relationship skills, and, and social awareness. Um, I think I said social awareness twice. Self-awareness. <laughs> um, so I think when we talk about SEL as, as adults and as adult learners, you might be finding or thinking about like, where did my New Year's resolution land me on this wheel, <laughs> right? Like, am I thinking about relationship skills? Am I thinking about my self-management or my time management, things like that. In zooming out, that's sort of thinking about that three to five longer range plan. How does, how do we, how does SEL impact our school-wide culture, our authentic partnerships in our community, and then aligned learning opportunities up and down their curriculum. Okay. Okay. 
so what's the plan? What are we going to do tonight? So uh, we're going to talk about the why, kind of where a little bit about the heart of Berlin. Um, it, being a new administrator, it's been really fun to get to know our community and get to know our staff. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about that. Sort of the building blocks, how are students supported here? Um, we're going to engage in a group experience together, and then we're going to talk about what my hope and my plan is for what's next here at Berlin. Questions? Great. Okay. Um, so, in order for a school to move forward, we really have to ground ourselves in why, right? Like, why are we here? Why, why, what do we want our community to look like? What do we want this building to be for all of our students? And spending time working through that together is super important. You might notice around the building there are mugs that have stickers on them. Um, at, or teachers, you'll, teachers will carry them around. At the beginning of the year, it's a kind of like get to know you. I give everyone a coffee mug. We talked about taking care of ourselves and our social emotional beings and then um, put stickers on them to represent who we are and what we bring to the table. Um, so if you see them or if you're in our building and you're like, why do all the teachers have stickers and why are they all these crazy color mugs? Be, it was because we had fun. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, we looked at our core values as a staff, and this is the paw that we came up with. We boiled down, we took Brene Brown's 50 um, core values and boiled them down. The grumbling in the room when I said, go pick, of the 50 values, I said, now pick 10. They were like, oh, I was like, now pick five. They were like, no, don't make me. Um, so we got to three, and my challenge was come up with one core value. So some of them were really struggled by coming up with just one. So this is sort of the place where we've reflected and come back to. Um, we've had some sticky situations this year, and we've come back to this as a staff and reflected on this and said, like, what are we doing? Are we living true to our values? Is there, are the ways that we are responding to students here living, living proof of what we want in our building? So we said, this is what we want for our students here in our building. And then, so I said to our teams, what do you need? We said, here are our goal, global views for everyone <laughs> in our building. And I said, so what do you need from your teammates to make that happen? <laughs> Oh, sorry, they make me laugh every time. Um, this is our, some of my <laughs> interventionists, this is my two of our school counselors, our librarian, our PE teacher, our music teacher, and our school nurse. Um, their, their task was to come up with an artistic representation, also lots of grumbling when I asked for that, um, but an artistic representation of sort of what you and your community need. Um, I can't honestly remember what the glittery sparkles are. We could probably all come up with like a lot of different reasons of what those glittery sparkles could be for this particular team. But this, these are the things that they were looking for from their colleagues. Um, this crew really, really went after it. Um, it's one of my favorite things that hangs out in my office. Um, I should have brought it down. I'll, I'll bring it down and you can take a peek at it later, but there's like individual words on each of the flower petals. Um, they had a lot of fun. So that's sort of the why we, I, I know that in order to create a strong social emotional learning environment for students, it's about creating relationships with adults and with students. Um, that's the baseline, that's the why of what we do, right? So, um, this was a really great visual representation of sort of what are what's our foundation? Where are we going to build from? I'm new. You all are getting to know each other in new and different ways every year, and this is sort of where we started. So, um, thinking about that, that's our foundation. That's the why of the work that we do. That's the vision of the culture and the environment and the world that we want our students to live in every day. Um, now I want to talk a little bit around the wheel of what, what, um, how we target these things in each area in our teaching. So um, thinking about self-awareness, we're really wanting students to acknowledge their, <laughs> their body in space, how they show up, and how they are um, interacting with others. So direct teaching during morning meetings, supportive decision-making with caring adults. So I might say, like, May I pick a new floor? Mm -hmm. I might say, like, floor, it looks like your body's really busy right now. Mm -hmm. 
do you need to go do some mall push-ups? <laughs> or is there a fidget that might be helpful for your body? Or check in, what do you need? You know, starting with um, one of my first grade uh, or second grade teachers every morning talks about like a what I need time. And they, they, they do a full like Maslow's check-in of am I hungry, am I thirsty, am I tired? What is it that I need? Like how am I going to check in with that? Um, I'm thinking about a student today who often uses taking a rest as part of um, his day. And at lunch, I was like, we were looking through his chart. I was like, wow, you're doing such a wonderful job. And I said, so if things go silly, like what's a tool you could use this afternoon? And he goes, I could probably take a rest. <laughs> and I was like, that would be a great tool. So opportunities like that, opportunities to practice um, providing positive feedback, like when a student chooses a task, like, wow, you really worked through that. Um, is seeing seeing something in practice, having an adult model it, having a peer modeling it, then practicing it, then being able to try it on yourself. Like, go give it a try. See what that looks like. Um, they're just, I was like, how do I boil all these pictures down? I can't. So they're just some pictures of um, connected adults in our building um, helping create self-awareness. I don't actually know what the adults were doing in these, so they're not all, all totally connected. But um, this was an adorable interaction. This was one of our longtime um, pair is, it, it was the first day back from break, and they were just so excited to see each other. <laughs> um, so self-management is something that I think, I can speak for myself, I think it's all something that, it's always a growth management for me of like, where do these things go, and how do I reorganize this space, and how do I take care of myself and my being, right? So that's something that we do in this building a lot. You'll notice when we engage in a group activity that um, a lot of our students are talking about zones of regulation, so really thinking about where am I at? I want to be in the green zone. I want to be ready to learn, right? I'm going to do that pulse check in the morning. What do I need? Do Am I hungry? Am I thirsty? Then then I'm, then I'm able to be in the green zone. If I'm getting the yellow, I might be a little <laughs> silly. I might be getting a little, you know, chit-chatty with my friends. Um, if I'm in the red zone, I'm mad. I am not regulated. I am running around the building. I am in certain X activity, whatever mad looks like for you, right? And blue is I'm tired, I'm sick, I'm sad, um, and we have lots of skills. I know that some of the other administrators have talked about some like um, strategies that you could utilize for that, whether they're calming tools or grounding tools, things like that. Um, so some other things, um, accessing regulation tools in classroom spaces. All of our classroom spaces have a Peace Corner, and you'll see as we walk around, there are some other spaces in the building that um, are used as like calming um, regulation spaces. Um, this uh, space on the bottom right was actually created this year out of student need. We, we moved a bunch of offices around after the first month of school to create a like step down space where or a step up space if the classroom regulation space isn't working you can come in there's a swing um, the sensory wall actually was falling down in this picture I'm surprised I didn't notice that there's this really fun like you know those shirts that you can move the sequins up and down mm -hmm. it's a big wall like that it's super fun highly recommend um, <laughs> and uh, actually one of our students helped create um, like directed where the umbrella is hung from the ceiling and they were very very invested in this so this doubles as a learning and a calm space um, social awareness is a lot of I mean that's a lot of the work that we do every day right it's recognizing what's the group plan what is everyone else doing um, so a lot of that is just happens organically. It happens in direct teaching in our classes, you know, in our guidance classes, and it happens in organic conversations that we have with every student. I had that conversation with a kindergartner today in the lunchroom. I was like, he's just happily sitting away eating his lunch. And I was like, I noticed that no one else is left in the cafeteria. <laughs> and he looked at me and was like, huh? I was like, what do you think you should do right now? He goes, I should back up. <laughs> it's like, yep, you should. <laughs> um, so lots of things like that. I'm just like um, creating that culture where any adult in the building can come in and say, do you need this or what do you need or what can I do to help? Um, these are some opportunities for social interaction that we've had uh, this year. We did a game day. This is, this is my new special educator up on the rock wow. wall. Uh, <laughs> uh, we had a whole school recess at the beginning of the year. This is Chef Jake on game day coming out of the kitchen. This like 
I don't know what it is, the Rock'em Sock'em. It was like rowdy. It was really fun. <laughs> um, we also did a full uh, game of Hungry Hungry Hippos in the gym. Do you all remember the scooters? Like the like, Okay, so you lay on your belly and you take a basket and you scoop out. It's um, so, uh, other opportunities to build relationships with students here, um, providing students with, with leadership opportunities. So, we have a PBIS in-house leadership team that consults with our school counselor that kind of gives feedback. We had students that did a really wonderful job meeting with the representative from not Center for Creative Leadership. It's what's the, oh. the big company that's helping us with all of our vision Great schools goals. Partnership. Great, Great schools partnership. partnership. Thank, oh, you. Thank you. It was yeah. not. It was in my brain. And it fell out. So, um, but they gave an, um, a, like great feedback. Um, so kids that are really invested and believe in our school um, and they're psyched about, about the leadership opportunity. So um, I also think thinking of things like um, learning one of the big relationship skills in schools and students who have experienced trauma or loss um, or have uh, varying life experiences when they come to us often it's hard to trust the people around you so really leaning and creating structures where students are thinking about other people so one of the things that we've been working on is like ask three before me mm -hmm. um, so check in with three of your colleagues <coughs> before or three of your classmates before you go to the big <coughs> boss before you go to the teacher like ask three other people if you need help tying your shoes ask three other people in the classroom if you need help knowing what's the homework assignment ask three peers before you check in with the first adult so that we're creating more webs of connection for students It's more opportunities where kids, mm -hmm. um, adults have been checking in with kids. Um, part of that relationship building is also connecting students to the wider community. So um, we created some food boxes for families in our community um, and students got to see that um, and we were able to su support lots of our local families, which was lovely. Um, and responsible decision making is something that is, a, is part of a supportive discipline model and really helping students understand um, how their impact, what their actions did and how that took away from the community that they were a part of. So um, for example, I had a student that was like, well, I'm not sorry I did that. And I said, okay, well, I'm not going to make you apologize. What, but what you need to give back to those kids that you distracted from their learning. So what are you going to do? Like, what's your, what's your plan? Are you going to make copies for the teacher? Are you going to organize something? Like, how are we going to give back to the harm that, oh, I use harm like in quotes, but from what you took away, you were distracting your peers, what are you going to do? Um, so really trying to get them to understand that they are a part of the system of the whole is sort of the goal across all of our classrooms. Um, and encouraging kids to be problem solvers. So when they, you know, so and so did this and that, like, what do you do about that? What do you think? You know, um, I have a good friend who calls them like, she always says, let's make it, make it right muffins. <laughs> My child has to do make it right muffins. But the idea around that is how do we make it right with the people around us that, and recognizing that we have an impact on everyone. Um, okay. So now that I've been talking at you, we're going to do a group experience. So you have heard and probably know and know about other like regulatory experiences. Maybe for you it's a podcast. Maybe for you it's a, um, it's just like a quiet moment of breath. Maybe it's a run. Maybe it's a call to your one of your good friends. What we're going to do is actually today something that is unique to Berlin. Our um, interior here operates as a lap space for a lot of our students. So if kids are getting wiggly or students need a movement break, they can hold up a number to their teacher. If I show you two to my teacher, that means I'm going to take two interior walks of the school building. And then the teacher kind of knows about how long that's going to be. As you notice, when you walk around, students are still supervised. There are adults that are around at kind of every corner. Um, so the, the thought process, as you walk around, you will see some other of our regulatory spaces. There's a wiki stick wall, there's like, um, a great, uh, motor movement, motor planning spot. So I just thought it would be great for us to think about what's one, um, we're going to practice what, what we preach and we're going to do a little self-regulatory walk. 
So I, you don't need to show me your numbers. But <laughs> um, I, we're going to get up and move our bodies, and you take what you need to um, feel calm and centered, and then I'll, I'll wrap up and be done talking at you. Does that sound good? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Is it one or two? Is it one or two? How many? Five bucks. Five bucks. Okay, five bucks. Megan's gonna keep going. It's five more. Because yeah. people see my I see you eating. Close <laughs> 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 yeah, and especially noodles. Okay. <laughs> 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 yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mini reels. Yeah. 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 Okay. I like it. Mini reels. Okay. I like it. Yeah. 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 You have. Yes, I think I'm still on. Yeah. This is still me. Yeah. Yeah. So I have just one more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Work with farms. Next time we'll just be ready. No, you're not too much need with it. Did you travel or have Well, if you need to go. Yeah, we used to we used to do tours before, but now they're back. And also, I love the energy. I know. What are we doing? It's our first Christmas. I'm a little worried that that camera is right on my noodle. Here, do you want me to stop sharing? 
Yeah, you're okay. I was hungry. I don't know if you could hear my stomach rumbling. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, the room is still muted, Zach is saying. That's because we're eating. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, we're going to keep going, guys. So if you're getting your food, I'll be quick. No, 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 no. I'm just telling Seth that people are grabbing dinner. So, yeah, yeah. Well, they're not on the rug. Oh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Joshua. Do we have to follow the rug rules? Well, if you're on the rug. You well, grab your dinner. Grab your dinner and come over. Nice. Grab so, your dinner. Grab your dinner, buddy. Start moving. You're you're all doing a great job taking care of your needs. In the grab, in the in the event of. And for the sake of time, so that you all like still mill about, okay? Take take care of what you need. I'm just going to finish up the sort of what's next and where I think we're going to head. Um, so, ca uh, Castle provides um, ten indicators um, of school wide SEL success. So they provide a couple of rubrics. So our SEL team, our in-house team, our PBI combination of our PBIS team is sort of going to, there's some great rubrics that we're going to work through to see um, how we can set ourselves up for better success moving into next year. Um, so those are great uh, overall indicators that we'll kind of look at. Again, Castle's just a framework um, for us to sort of think through our work. Um, so some four like uh, immediate next steps are working with our SEL team. I want to create some clear roles and also increase our membership here. Um, our SEL team is also called our SST team. I think it's when I think about our SS our SEL team, I think of it as our PBIS team and our SST team and our in-house camp. There's just it's like melding everyone together and then giving some clear roles. Um, I think continuing our commitment to deepening our understanding, our learning of what SEL is and how we show up for kids here in our building, and then making a clear plan for PD. What is it going to look like for us? Um, I think aligning curriculum across grade levels and identifying a clear screening tool to meet any unmet needs students may have will be really important <laughs> for us. And lastly, I think that identifying and making clear a plan to showcase our SEL work for our families and our community at large will be some of our goals in the next few years. Um, most definitely for next year, really thinking about how to make that clear. Um, there should be one more slide that is not there right now. Um, I don't know where it went. Uh, essentially, um, I was just going to end by saying uh, there was a great quote that was around relationships and relationships, our relationships with our students are only, um, are what are going to make the learning stronger. So that's really what our goal is, is to make really meaningful connections with students so that they can learn. If we don't have meaningful connections with them, they can't, we can't move forward. So that's what our, that's sort of what SEL looks like in our building. Thank you all for humoring me and enjoying and um, I hope you enjoy your dinner. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any questions for yeah. Celia? Yeah. yeah. Um, we spent a lot of time on this website, and yeah. um, I'm just curious if you have utilized the survey, the staff survey, to look at, because we know yes. that social emotional learning is only successful if we as educators and staff are feeling like we can model that, yeah. and you know, how do you support if you don't feel centered? Absolutely. So I'm just curious if you've, if you've got a pulse of you're the only one who's talked about Castle yep. explicitly in yep. these presentations. Yeah. I have not used the, the mm -hmm. specific survey. I think that that would be a really great tool for us mm -hmm. to use. Um, and thinking, when I think about that with my staff, I my goal in, in getting to know them is really to set them up for success and, mm -hmm. and creating more of that individualized check-in and making sure, seeing how people are at, wh where do you need, what do you need, is often a question that I, mm -hmm. like, what can I do to be helpful? Um, sort of mm -hmm. gauging that. But I think that sending out a formal survey would be a great, great tool. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's a neat tool. Yeah, yeah, it's a great thing. You know, it's not just, it's like environment, too. Like, yep. you have a dedicated space. Yep. And we heard about some examples, like, some examples that fit that in different schools. And, um, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm.
Any other questions? Otherwise, thank you so much. Thank you for dinner is delicious, and thank you yes. for making us walk too. So <laughs> with that, now we're going to be very efficient in the rest of our meeting, and we're going to give it to our student to do her report. Hi, everybody. Um, glad to be back after not being with the last few meetings. Um, Willow obviously is not here today, but she sent me a voice message that I will play at the end of the summary. Um, so we are just coming back from holiday break. Um, there was a bunch of sports games. Um, there was a bunch of success in the sports games. Um, new year, so new semester is starting up soon. Um, on this Friday night, there's an art bash or an art show. Um, that's from 5.30 to 7.30. We encourage you to show up, support. Um, for sports, uh, girls and boys hockey type games tonight. Um, we won, the girls team won 6-2. Um, we played Mrs. Boy, and the boys are playing in Brattleboro at 7.15. Um, for boys basketball, tonight they're playing in Lamoille, and then the girls are playing tomorrow versus North Country at North Country. And then, um, uh, for, there's a big, big game at Montpelier at 7, it's boys basketball, it's this Friday, um, it's going to be great. Um, and then we have a lot of seniors that are, um, looking at colleges, we have a few that are committed, um, it's really exciting. Um, and then I just wanted to comment on one thing. Um, there's a public comment, and um, I'm, I used to go to Doty. I graduated from Doty. Um, and I just wanted to kind of like, just like shine light on like how important the guidance counseling was for me. Um, Maureen, who was my guidance counselor, she had a really big impact, and um, not just on me, but on a bunch of other students. And I just really think that it's important to like continue having that because like um, this is Honey Bear. Honey that? Bean Bear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, like she said, I don't know how to pronounce her name. <laughs> um, like she said, um, it's it's some of the students like only support, and I think it's just really important, especially for elementary school students to like have that support and just make sure that they're they feel like safe at school and they feel just like safe in general. Just wanted to say that. Mm -hmm. um, now I'll play Willow's voice message. I'm not sure if it's gonna be loud enough, but I will turn it all the way up. Hi board members. I'm sorry I can't make tonight. I just wanted to touch base about you all coming in next week. There should be an email coming out tonight or tomorrow morning about just logistics and details of what your day is going to look like and what time frame we're asking you to come in most likely the days are going to be tuesday and thursday that's the most responses we got about those two days so keep your eyes peeled for an email from us and i hope you guys have a great night thank you for listening and i'll see you hopefully next week Should I play it again? Or? Okay. Okay. Oh, We're done. No, I just, <laughs> I'm going to try not to hit the chords okay. this time. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Mark uh, is the owl so muted. You guys, mm -hmm. I see the red light. Is that? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. That'd be great. Thanks, Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Any questions? Okay, none. Okay, let's move on into our board operations and discussion, uh, reviewing uh, board vacancies. As you know, we have uh, quite a few. You all got the email from from Maggie today too, and so if it's it's on, they're listed on the on the warning too. So the idea of reviewing the the vacancies uh, today is so that we can plan. We have uh, a, a couple of people interested already for the Callas uh, seats that are going to be uh, available. And then the, otherwise, uh, Natasha has already picked up her, her petition and is working and is working on it. So anybody else that needs guidance or knows 
uh, I'm looking at you because you had I'm said that you were not sure. So no. have you picked up your petition or no. not yet? But you're but running. Going to, yeah. You're running. Okay. So any others? I know that Amelia, you have your petition. Zach, who's online, has his petition. And you, Kelly, has her petition. So every any questions? Not okay. All right. So we can move into the warning. <laughs> so this replaces, this was the one that Melissa emailed out. It's just updated with, with Maggie's. Maggie's. So the one in your, she didn't want to separate out your packets. Ignore the one in the packet. The one that's coming around is the current draft. Okay, Zach, can you hear us okay? Yes, I can hear you fine. Okay. Okay. All right. Hope today I'm not going to Okay. No, we have others. Laura, are you looking for action on this warning tonight? Uh, we, tonight we're just going to review it. We're going to do action at our next meeting because we, we will need to yeah, know the numbers. Meeting. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes we have approved it without the number, you know, when we are going to talk about the numbers. But I, I'm just looking for you for more eyes is what we were hoping, more eyes on it. Yep. And, and if we're missing anything, to please... Let us know. That's the plug I would put in because once we send it to the printer, it's a really, really big deal if it has an error. So even typos, we won't be insulted. We will yeah. welcome you telling us. And you'll see yeah. it again. Yeah, and we're going to talk on 5.4. Uh, actually, we can bring that up right now as we're doing <coughs> this. Uh, we're we're going to talk about the stipend that we have right now for clerk is $500. We're going to talk about uh, increasing that stipend but that would be our new district clerk is is melissa sorry i keep thinking it's just getting used to being here and being able to see you guys it, so yes a, a couple things other than the clerk we talked in the past about the director and chair stipend increasing ten percent i can't remember did this did that go up this it it went not in this warning reflects exactly what you did last year, but okay. you did increase it last year. Yeah, it's no, just I, that you I, didn't do the court. So, last for year. The folks who haven't been around, we had gotten into a, a practice of having it go up, I think, $50 a year um, just to build in um, you know, a way to keep up with inflation, basically, and, and, and a little more, frankly, so that um, from an equity point of view, people are getting properly compensated. Um, and, um, well, still improperly. <laughs> or, but <laughs> less, less improperly. Less improperly. <laughs> um, so I would, I would propose that we continue and maybe, maybe even go a little, little more as a, as a fraction of the budget. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's tiny. Do you have an? Do you have that? Um, I, I, I would suggest that we go to twelve hundred on directors and, and stay with a double that for the chair twenty four. Definitely support that. Okay. So should there be a motion to twelve hundred and twenty four hundred for the director yeah. and for the chair? Can we can we increase? But what, what do other people think? I think the, the bigger point for you know for the future is I, I think we should just keep this Agreed. going yeah. and, and yeah. you know sort of keep pace. Yeah. I feel like we've had numerous conversations about the. <clears throat> hardship of accessing volunteer opportunities and that this is critical for people who may need to pay for um, elder care or for child care or gas. I mean, there's so many components that make this um, restrictive opportunity for people and promoting that is something we've also talked about, like really emphasizing the fact that this is a volunteer opportunity, but there also is some degree of compensation available. Okay. Should we have a motion? Yeah, so do you make that as a, a motion? I was wondering if we could do all of them yeah, in, in one slate. All so all so <coughs> we, we are in sort of agreement on the board. I don't see any. On, yeah. on the, so. I have one other question. Yes. So on Article 6, the last sentence, I, I believe in the past is talking about being very explicit about this is our increase per pupil. I know that's been required by statute, I believe. Because this is the new language. Yeah. This is new language? Thank goodness. 
Is it? I want to actually confirm that. Okay. Well, that's, that's, I want to check I, because equalized actually, pupil is a, is a old concept. I think what oh, you're, wait, thank wait, you for bringing wait. that up, Kari, because yeah. the law is, it, it is yeah. no longer required for you to include this, and right. you have the discretion, and that happened last year. Yeah. Right. Right after you had already yeah. put it right. out yeah. to the printer, so thank you. I think this yeah, is this actually, is old. It's that last yeah. sentence. Yeah, right. yeah. Uh, it might even be the last two. We will check the last, last two. two. Yeah. We just... So what would to? I'm supposed that we keep it because it's information for our. It's our misleading. It's misleading, yeah. it's and we misleading. and and we worked really hard to get that moved. I was confused. We just approved the career center, and and it's just three and, sentences. And and that doesn't mean really anything. It, it isn't people. really, uh, Chris. It doesn't really reflect what our percentage increase is. It's just language that the state put into practice, but really. It's another one of their formulas that doesn't really connect to the reality of what we're saying is our increase. If you're saying you'd like to see language in there that tells what the increase yeah, is, then that's different, but it's not this language. Okay. I mean, just it, to take it out when it may be informational for our community, um, I'd rather keep something in that is, but is accurate. Um, and based on the current measures that are being used to, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that we're measuring it by. Um, well, at the least, it seems like it should convert to the average daily it's membership, which is the new measurement. I don't even know if we're going to have that. Right. Of people like people count. I, you know, and I almost wonder if it's, you know, because part of the challenge, and I apologize for my back being to some, um, is that because of all the moving parts, we don't really know once we approve a budget what it's going to, there's the potential for us to really not know what our increase is. Because again, that's what they've been telling us, that once you approve your budget, additional information may come in, which then we may not meet that benchmark, or there, we might not get the waiver, or whatever that information is. And so there may be a, um, a, a shift, or you know what I mean? There's, there's that variability. I'm wondering if there should be a statement in there just as a heads up. Um, I don't know what the statement would be, um, but some kind of an explanation to the fact that given all the moving parts this year, in, as opposed to even more other than other years, what we vote may change. I think, I mean, from my standpoint, and it's kind of related to your comment, Chris, the, the spirit of that language, frankly, was put in, the law put it in, to make it expre expressly clear to voters what the difference in your, what, how more expensive is it per student compared to the last yeah, year, right. and they did it by design. Because they wanted people not just to look at a big meaningless number, they wanted to mm -hmm. look at the increase. So it was put in for that express reason. The question I think for the board is, knowing that this language isn't isn't relevant either way. The spirit of it would be a different set of if the board, the board has the option of not having anything. The board has the option of putting a version in that at least reflects how we actually count students. Um, it would have to keep the word projected in, to your point, Diane. What, that's how it did it before, because even, even this yeah. would have changed. Um, I also wonder about um, the We've talked a lot in budget meetings about what the board controls is the expense side of it. So you could opt to put in language that <coughs> simply shows your expense increase from the previous yeah. year. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, yeah. Yeah. We, point being, we, we can put, the board has the discretion to put it in. Put whatever or nothing. Mm -hmm. So we're also then <coughs> somewhat representing what we think the increase in tax rates will be, but that's kind of beyond our control. So maybe that's where we have to say, this is what we anticipate it will be based on this, but there are other factors that come in later that, just because to, to avoid any um, repercussions of saying, you misled us. Um, you but know, are so we, go ahead. go ahead, just, you know, information for our community. I would offer, I agree with you, but I would offer that tax rates is the most variable item. Yeah. And right, you may right. risk, so mm -hmm. so you may risk actually making it look even more, okay. more um, like you're hiding something. Right, and that's what, that's what I'm trying to avoid, actually. Go ahead, Daniel. <laughs> I was just going to say that 
that information is helpful. It also seems like it's sort of veering away from the concise language that goes on a ballot mm -hmm. and more into sort of the informational meeting content mm -hmm. that we could provide for those interested who come to our meeting. Um, I somewhat agree with you, yeah. uh, but just to provide it to no one who comes to our meeting well, um, would not be very, <laughs> if we could get it out there some other way. I'm just um, leery of, I'm leery of putting point. too much, too much nuanced <coughs> language onto a, a I ballot. Agree yeah. I agree with you on that. But we should have other ways of communicating rather than just people come to the visit. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So, so to summarize, Megan, you're going to check and see what is required or? Uh, what is required is simply that you are now allowed to take away those last two sentences. Okay. That's all the last law two? did. Yeah, the last, the last two. two. Okay. So yeah. Both okay. of the ones that, rep, that yeah. Um, yeah. reflect yeah. equalized people. So I, I move that we shrink those from Article 6, the last two sentences that begin, um, it is estimated in ending the year, the last two sentences there, um, as our law has moved beyond them. Okay. I'll second that. Okay, so. Can you say that again louder, Chris? Sorry. Yeah, so we need to strike uh, from Article 6, uh, the last two sentences, uh, the first of which begins, it is estimated, and then the second one that ends in year, period. Uh, and the reason to strike them is because the law has moved beyond that language. Um, and it could be confusing to our, to our voters. Any more discussion? I would, have a move. Well, I would just add, I will, I am fairly confident that what I said is true. I will also triple check it for you. Yeah. So when okay. you see the final version, it, I will make sure it's those last two sentences that you're allowed to strike. Yeah, okay. and we, we we did review, I just pulled out the Career Center because we oh, just God. did this, and we the, the only language that was required, we, we add a couple of things that they require about where we are meeting, because mm -hmm. uh, that's how, but they shall the borders of Central Vermont Career Center approve the school board to expand X, which is the amount the school board has determined necessary for the support of Central Vermont Career Center for ensuring the fiscal year, and that's where it ends. Okay. So that's, that's, that's it. So, yeah. Okay. So all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Okay, hearing. And that was just any abstentions. Six. No, sorry, that was just sorry. Article Six, and it was moved by by Chris and second by Kari. Okay, so let's get back to Article Five for for a minute. So, for the clerk, I I, I did several phone calls, and it, there's no record from the state for because district clerk district school clerks are something that came up after unification of oh. districts. So there's not a there's not a database in what other districts uh, have. I know that uh, Barry and us have the same stipend right now, 500, and it has been really hard to recruit because it's just it's it's, it's more work than than 500 dollars. So in mm -hmm. some other districts, they have at hourly rate, which I felt would be too hard mm -hmm. uh, for mm -hmm. us to put in the ballot, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a 20 dollar hourly rate, and in the other one, it's 15. So what I would what I would suggest is if we are adding to ourselves to so raise that to seven hundred or seven hundred and fifty, to to sort of do it in comparison to what we have done for for ourselves, unless somebody feels that we have to go higher. I mean, is that, than is that, that enough for the amount of work it requires? I mean, just rough hours. It is. In, in it is hard. It is hard to tell because it would be like hourly. It would probably be. We tried to figure out, we tried to answer that question it's, and didn't have a satisfactory answer. It's a little hard. It's the counting of the ballots. It's also the connecting with the town clerks mm -hmm. and hard to pin down a number, which is why we said, oh, I wonder what other people pay, mm -hmm. which Floor just answered. Did anyone consult with Rosie? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. The, the sentiment is simply the current one is too low. Yes. Too low. That's, <laughs> yes. That, yeah, yeah, that yeah, is yeah. And it's the same job. sentiment yes. in yes. that. Yeah. Do we want to say like an even, I don't know, an even thousand to make it just look a lot better and a little more appealing. Yeah. I support that. I do too. Yeah, yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. We can definitely. We can definitely do that. And then even if we divided that into twenty, you know, it would be fifty hour, fifty hours of work, which is probably what, yeah. what it is. 
So it's probably realistic. Yeah. yeah. So is, is Melissa tracking this year? We we haven't. No, asked that's her a good. To, that would be a good thing to have her. Yeah. Do, just yeah. Um, that's a good idea. Yeah. That's a good idea. And and then she's doing some learning too, right? right. So like Correct. we're also asking her to go, yeah. and she's been doing mm -hmm. some learning. So it's hard to like mm -hmm. completely yeah. separate it. But that's a, we can ask her definitely. Mm -hmm. And so so I pose the question though. So say she tracks her hours, and it comes back, and it is fifteen hours, and we just said it's going to be a thousand. We can't take. I don't think we would take that back. No. So. The only reason I bring that up is should we temper how we raise it until we know the number of hours? I, you know, I, I feel very confident that she would spend at least 50 hours just by 50? the amount. Five zero. Five zero. Five zero. Five zero. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. I thought because you said by, 15. No, no, no. Oh, so I was oh, no, like, no, 50. 50. 50, 50 okay. hours. <laughs> 50, sorry, 50 hours, 50 by two. They, like, yeah, a thousand. Otherwise, that's going to apply. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just, just, right now, just right now, going back and forth with emails, yeah. with, with clerks, okay. we have spent mm -hmm. some time. It was right? just a like misunderstanding. Yes, yeah, 50. 50. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. so it's also odd hours when it gets to election time. Yeah. So, yeah. Are you, like, are you considering a pay differential because this isn't something that stops at five o'clock or six o'clock? Yeah. You know, um, yeah. I'm uncomfortable with the idea of hourly. I think it should just be flat compensation. Yes. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for doing an amazing job. This is a really challenging yeah. thing to do managing five towns. Would you like a motion for all three then? Yeah, and then so should we do anything about treasurer? I feel like treasurer is no doing. What do you think? <laughs> about what? The mm -hmm. treasurer, I think. Sure, it feels okay, but we got everybody up, so I also don't want to be. What does our treasurer say? Who's our treasurer? Yeah. Mary. Ormsby. 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 Oh. But I did not check with Mary. Uh, no, we did not this year. I would, and I would, I would. I do believe, though, when we looked at this last year, the thought was that all look good except for the clerk. Clerk. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. That does not mean that we've asked her since then. So I just to be clear, I'm not misspeaking, but I do recall what was jumping out was the clerk. Well, so I can make a motion 50. about the three and I'd yeah. be willing to call Mary, Mary in the next two weeks, if that would be helpful. I think we could also just increase it, but what we were doing before was $50. We just increased ours and not <coughs> put her in the position to have to lobby but for her own. And if it's not enough, then we will move it next mm -hmm. year. Do what yeah, and do it all today as a slate. Yeah. Would you be comfortable making that motion, Kari? Yeah. Well, what were you thinking for a treasurer for an increase? So I was thinking of adding fifty dollars mm -hmm. to like to the six. Well, the other two that we you've since added a hundred. A hundred. That's true. Okay. That's true. So a hundred. A hundred. Yeah. Make a motion that we increase the rate uh, stipend for the clerk to one thousand dollars, the treasurer to. $6,700, directors to $1,200 each, and the chair to $2,400. Thank you. OK, moved by Kari, second by Chris. Any more discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you. Any opposed? Any Senator abstentions? $6,700? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. OK. My agenda went away, sorry. Okay, so <coughs> uh, I'm going to leave the communications and engagement planning for the budget to the, to the end because we covered it last step. So approve our school, uh, our mailing ballots. I would need a motion for that. All of our towns have approved them now. I attended the Berlin meeting last night, which was the last one holder because they, thought they were not so sure, but you're we able to convince them last night. And, uh, and we have all of our towns now, so we could that would help Melissa get started with her, with her work, too. So we've had a motion to approve mailing ballots for the Washington Central School District for this town meeting. So moved. Okay. Second. Thank you. Let's just move to my other Curry. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 aye.
Aye. Any opposed? <laughs> Sorry, did you say mailing or mail in? Mail in ballots. Mail in ballots. Yeah. For the district, for Washington Central School District, we have authorization for our five towns, five select boards. And Kelly, it was not that I couldn't, it's just, it was the very last minute. And yeah, I'll talk, I'll tell you more I about it. I was telling Diane that I did not totally drop the ball. She can no, 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 you did not, you did, you did not drop the ball. It was, it was coordinating with Rachel and Melissa. It was, it was, it was a New Year's, no, 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 no. I just wanted to make totally clear that I did show up at one point. You did, yeah, 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 you did show up. It, it, uh, just to be clear, it took three meetings, Kelly attended two. And then I just wow. came in at the last minute to just like, just like really, I literally, I just begged them. That's in, which just worked. Thank you. Yeah, you <laughs> Yeah. So, and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and Rachel has been really supportive and it's just, they were also having a hard time getting uh, enough members. So it's, but it's all good. We have the five towns and we got it. You know, what was, what was their hesitation other than, Security of ballots and uh, yeah. security of ballots and I don't. I just don't feel like I'm political in in this. Well, yeah, the security, security, well, security of the ballots that it doesn't really make a difference in, and it's not all of them. There was, you know, so I don't want to, you know, I, I'm just grateful okay. that they yeah. that they did it. I think they needed a little more information to understand, and and they they did it. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, policy, right? Did I move? No. Did I forget anything? Oh, well, the communication. The communication. Sorry, sorry. Yes. But to your point, we did sort of talk about that last time in terms of the yeah. ma mailer. So I can give an. Do you want me to give an update? Sure. Yeah. yeah. So um, we had talked at the last board meeting about when we send out our annual report taking the card and QR code, which is what we did last year, and turning it into a trifold for the budget. So we've got a draft of that from Ben Merrill, um, which looks great. And so we're working on the next iteration of it. Uh, basically, we approved the concept, and he'll now have his designer working on it. Um, and that is the update. I'm not, I don't actually know off the top of my head how quickly he'll have the draft if he has it in. We're hoping early to have it to for the next meeting. Yeah. So and Megan and I are working on a joint statement so the board because we also want a mini paragraph yep. in that trifold. Yep. And that's and that's that's it. But he has a a good start. Yep. So we'll make sure you. Yep. To the greatest extent possible, you'll see it on the seventeenth. Um, and you might not reason, have all the numbers correct, right yet exactly. because the 17th is when we will approve the, the budget, mm. but we will approve the, the narrative and, and the guiding principles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. you it's January 17th. I'm just, is that oh, you're probably right. the 17th? Hold on. I, I, we keep saying oh, January 17th. 17th. It's, oh, it's January 17th. 17th. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, 20th 20, was 20, December. December. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. So now, Chris, this is to you. Uh, let you run policy. Okay. Uh, so we're uh, here to um, review and approve uh, for adoption uh, policy B20, which is personal recruitment selection and background checks policy on page 7. Uh, <coughs> policy number B22, library media center selection and reconsideration policy. Uh, policy A30, which is policies and procedures. Uh, A20, for meetings, agenda preparation and distribution. And policy A22, uh, notice of non discrimination. Uh, we have a motion to move them as a slate. Provided they pass the standard <laughs> check. <laughs> we did change the number. We I'm did change the number. I made a triple check actually in the policy meeting. <laughs> you, your aptly name says it's a Stanley tool <laughs> that we would now use to make sure we're on track. I had no comments on the policies this time through. What? Okay. I know, I'm sorry. Is there a motion? Do you want Can I ask a question? A motion? Oh, yeah. No. Should policy B20 be personnel recruitment rather than personal recruitment? 
It is personnel. In the title? <laughs> Uh, of the policy. Oh, you're right. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Oh, I missed it. Yeah. Oh, you missed it. I. S I know. Okay. Could, could, we, could we have a motion and a second, and then we'll get, and we'll discuss. Right. I move that we pass the slate of policies as written in the packet. Thank you, Ursula. A second. Second. Thank you, Daniel. No, what, oh, no, what, Joshua? Joshua. Okay, uh, more <coughs> questions? Uh, with Daniel's Daniel's amendment, amendment. Yes. Okay. Yep. yes. So if we're going to go there, can we pull up protection, almost entire line registry to one complete line? It's a formatting issue. Can you, where are you? Um, policy B20, oh, definitions, item 3. Wow. Yeah. Oh, great. Oh, yes. Yes. Yep. Thank you. Okay. So, okay. We can be so, formatting. Yep. So. Yeah. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? <coughs> Any abstentions? Hearing none. The motion carries. Uh, okay. On the first reading, go ahead. Yep. Yeah, first reading, you have is um, with. Um, Policy F26, uh, which is a new policy, is the secure, use of security cameras uh, in our school. Any comments or questions on this uh, particular policy in terms of when, where, <laughs> and who? I can also, if it's helpful, so policy committee talked about it. This is the VSBA model policy. Um, U32, before consolida consolidation, had a camera policy. Once they started putting cameras in the building, that, that didn't make its way into the transition. So we, it, lo it looks like a brand new policy. It's not completely brand new. Um, and the policy committee, at its first read, didn't recommend changes from the model policy. But that's for you to discuss. I'm seeing any hands up, Chris. So I do. Have, um, Go ahead then. So the log, the di number 10, the district shall keep a log of any person's accessing. How long? I mean, will it be annually? Will it be, you know what I mean? How long will you maintain that? And I was just glancing through it. I apologize for not reading it earlier. Does it say how long the recordings are kept? Yes, that's number days. nine. Thank you. And to the first part of your question, so uh, Amy sits on our policy committee, so she usually will share what U32 has done. I don't know if you know the answer to that question off the top of your head, Stephen. Which, 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 which. Number 10, how, how long, long will, how far back does the log go, basically? Yeah, I think that's a, that policy will create a new procedure for us. Yeah. We mm -hmm. haven't kept the actual log mm -hmm. of those things, because that wasn't in our previous policy. Mm -hmm. so, um, so the procedure will have the days? Yeah, that's a procedure we'll have to, yep. have to consider. I would, yeah, I mean, I would suggest I, I, legal be consulted on that, you know what I mean? In terms of how long? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I think we might have to see if that's a part of the student's permanent mm -hmm. record, and then it really, mm -hmm. it's right. very well defined. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that okay. enough feedback for yes. you? Okay. Good. Thanks. Thank you. So, and I just wanted to clarify, we usually do not do policy in our first meeting of the month, but because we table mm -hmm. it, this will allow us to be back on track. Mm -hmm. So I'm not trying to get you to be here longer, but uh, now to the consent agenda, to approve the minutes of December 20th. I have a motion. Ursula, thank you. I move that we approve the minutes from December 20th, 2023. A second. Thank you, Maggie. Any comments? I don't see any, but appreciate our meeting minute to hear. Yeah, really. thank you. Thank you so, so much. much detail. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So. Joshua, do you, do you go by Josh? Uh, Josh. Joshua. Mm -hmm. Joshua. Joshua. Okay. Yeah. So there's a couple spots. Okay. Oh, okay. I didn't even pay attention to that. <laughs> <laughs> I just read it. <laughs> No need okay. to go back to that. 
Yes. Well, you can do it going for. Are you comfortable with going forward? She does, Joshua. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then we don't. Okay. All of those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any, aye. any opposed? Any abstentions? Hearing none. The motion carries. Great. All right. Who's gonna do page forty-four? Approve new teachers' resignation. Who has it? Right open. Go ahead, Ursula. I move that we approve the long-term substitute for the 23-24 school year, Anna Garrison for U32 English. Thank you. A second? Second. Okay. I give it to Natasha, sorry. So, Ursula, Natasha, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any abstentions? Any opposed? Hearing none, the motion carries. All right, so since that was the only one that we had, we're going to move. It takes me a while to go back and forth. Should we look at the board agenda right now or move right into it? Let's move into our board plan and then we'll. Yep, so board work plan in this case is uh, relatively easy. The 17th is your final budget presentation, so you'll. Um, You've given us some uh, requests for some new information. We will present that back to you along with um, any new CLA numbers were released today. Mm -hmm. And so Suzanne is um, calculating that, so you'll see what that impact is. Do they seem helpful? No. 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 I, no. You, you all received the email, VSBA, no, send it. the email. No, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Early. Remember, a decrease in the CLA is not good for taxes. No, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and she has it spelled out. She will have it spelled out for her community. Um, she'll also have it in time for a finance committee. Um, so, it, and maybe the board may even want to see that even mm -hmm. earlier than the packet. Mm -hmm. uh, finance committee can decide that. Okay. And so we'll approve the warning too. We'll, we'll also yes. have the superintendent performance evaluation surveys coming out shortly. I'm yes, sure. that's right. So. Yeah. That but answers that's my question. She hasn't clicked send yet, clearly. So. We did talk about it right before she, yeah. we left the office. So, so be in, Not yeah. Okay. But set aside some time. Yeah. Set as, yeah. Yeah, that was going to be on the last part. But yeah. Okay. Uh, let's do board reflection now, and then we can go into executive session and let people go so that you guys can unpack and not try to hold you up. Any board reflection at the beginning of the year? Or? From the meeting, uh, I, I continue to appreciate these um, travel yes. to different schools because we see things that uh, we may not otherwise see, and it really does it creates a, a continuity. I think amongst our our schools and the board members, uh, seeing all the different schools and hearing from the uh, principals. And thank you very much for your presentation. Mm -hmm. Very good. And um, yeah, so that's. I would like to thank Celia for defining SEL. <laughs> uh, I've been waiting for that. Level playing field. I would just say that the the meeting structure overall is seems to be really working well, having the one business meeting and then this mm -hmm. other meeting. It's more educational. Last year we had Phil Gore's yeah. curriculum and that was great and this is something different and it seems to be working. I'm just thinking back when I came back four years ago, we were in a very different place. I mean, the board was had been meeting for hours and hours, and it didn't seem possible to have a structure like this where we would be thinking about being done by 8 o'clock or something like that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. All right. Okay. So now, thank you, Celia, and thank you, uh, Jen and Stephen, for being here. But. Thank you, Celia, you're new to our team, and it's really exciting to start this year with you, too. So this was great. Now I'm going to look for a motion to move into executive session for personnel. So moved, moved. by Ursula. Second. Second. By Who do we need to include? Anyone? Uh, oh, yeah, our superintendent. Megan, there we go. Second, yeah. I was like, let me think about it, right? Oh, yeah. We can. You want to go into. Yeah, a classroom is fine. A classroom okay. is yep. fine. Yeah. Sorry, what, was, what did I miss? Um, Ursula moved to go into executive session. For personnel, For personnel matters, including, including Megan Roy. And Mikaela, second it. Okay. Do we vote? No. Oh. Yeah. 
All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? It shouldn't take long, so you guys could pack your stuff and you'll keep for a little time too. <coughs>